Hello everybody and welcome to the Jammy Dodger Gaming. In today's video I'm basically going to be showing you how to be a runner on both light and dark sides of the scission part of the Root of Nightmares raid. Once you have learned how to be a runner here, you will learn how to run anywhere in this raid. You wouldn't need any more help learning how to do this. It is very simple and I will try and keep this video as basic as I possibly can. I will show you how to do this um, for one side and then I will put some music in there so you don't have to listen to my irritating voice for the whole part of this now, video. Now just before we get started with the, the raid, part, I would least, just I'm like to ask anybody that is signed up on Twitch already to please possible. follow me at Jamius8. Um, if you're not signed up on Twitch, it is for completely free to sign up, you can follow me there where I basically will carry people or help people through things such as raids, dungeons, Grand Masters is another one that we help people with or any other little side quests that I could help with when the stream is less busy, I will help you with that. So if you're needing help with anything and you want to play with capable players as well as patient and considerate players that will also help you learn the raids themselves, then head over here, completely free to follow. We help every day, every week, carrying people. Um, so please head over to this channel and get all the rewards you deserve. Anyway, enough of that. So, uh, this is the map for Scission. As you can see here, I've underlined floor one, two, and three, and I've also circled the starting points on each floor. Best thing to do here is think, as, think of this as odds and evens. Buffs one, three, and five are on your side. Two, four, and six are on the other side. So you're going to be zigzagging across the chasm from side to side until you get from 1 to 6 and complete the whole sequence. If you do want to pause this uh, part of the video just to have a good look at each floor, then or come back to this as you're doing it, again just so you've got a visual, visualisation to see the map, feel free to do so if it helps, it really helped me. So on with the gameplay, this is dark side, this is buff one, you shoot that, you head over to lift, shoot this little totem, it will send you over to the other side. Now be careful with these, they can one shot you, they can also fling you off the map and all sorts of crazy shit, pretty inconsistent, Bungie, please sort your shit out. Anyway, shoot buff two, head back to your side. Now important as a runner, when you're heading back to your side, or just before you get back to your side, please call out to your teammates that you're collecting buff, who are on ad clear, because they need the buff two to kill certain ads. Once you've done that, you go over to three. Again, remember the odds are on your side. Shoot the buff on one, head over to the light side in this case to collect number four. Now, once you've collected number four, you'll notice that the buff plate number one is no longer active. As you can see there, aura's gone, it's now on three. This is where you run to next. Again, inform your teammates that you're coming over. They should, add clears, you need to move up with the buff. So again, once you've collected that, you head over to number five. Again, odds are on your side, just jump across the way. This one's pretty quick to do. Um, let you guys know that you're collecting buff. And then head over to the light side to complete the circuit. So we're gonna collect number six now. Um, it's usually in the back corner somewhere, which you'll see here. Now, when I collect this buff, as I turn around, you'll see all the dark plates on the other side start to ping. And again, in the same instance, because me and my teammate was in tandem that were running, you saw the light plates also burst. That means that it's done for your side. Now, all along, there's a timer above your super bar, which is for the runners. When that timer goes, there's no timer there at all. Add clearers, you can now collect the buff without the runner. Don't shoot the buff ever without the runner until you are told otherwise. Again, as a runner, you, both of you, both light and dark, don't just think one of you should do it. You need to communicate with your head clearers that they can get that buff. Just tell them they can collect it now, but make sure that you've, you've done everything. Now, while you watch the gameplay for um, floor two, again, I'm just going to give some more key bits of information out that's going to help. So, again, as I say, above your super bar, as you can see now, you see I've got 1 minute 54 seconds there as I speak um, to collect all these buffs. That's the time that I'm talking about. Take note of that as a runner and as an ad clearer. But the other bits of information that I want you to know, so again, as a runner, when you're heading back to your side to give your teammates the buff, don't worry if they aren't there. Obviously, if you're communicating and letting them know to collect the buff, that's what you need to be doing. But if they don't listen, if they're not there in time, if they don't, even if they just the game glitches out because it sometimes happens, they don't get the buff. As a runner, don't worry. Do not care about it because you only have a limited time to do this. 
to be fair, if you're quick enough, you can probably give them all the time in the world, to be honest with you, if you're quick enough. But we'll just give it two, three seconds if it's really needed. But again, don't wait around too long for them. As an ad clearer, same goes for you. Listen out to your to your runner. If you hear him, try and get back to the buff. If you're not there in time or the game just doesn't give you the buff, don't worry about it. The yellow bars will just run towards the back anyway. It just means you've got more to kill at the end, which you've got a lot of time to do. So don't, don't worry too much about it, it's not a big deal. Um, if you want to, if you and you know if you play with clan mates or you, you're quite you know well known to one another and you, you get a rhythm going, or even if you're not and you're on an LFG, even if one of you just waits back at the plate to collect the buff while one of you clears the room, that's fine too. Whatever works best for you, if you want to get a little sort of routine going, that's fine. What I also will say as an ad clearer, if you are roughly around the plate or very on or even on the plate and shooting ads, shooting outwards towards ads, be careful. Because you could if you shoot this buff, you could fuck the whole thing up and it's either going to be a wipe or you're going to have to finish the circuit. It is possible, but you need to know how to run. Um, so you need to keep an eye out for that and also be aware of things such as Thunderlord, anything with volatile rounds on it could also possibly impact the buff collection on the plate if an ad walks onto the plate and it bursts. I've seen it happen, it's rare, but I've seen it happen, but I've also seen it where it's burst on the plate and it's not happened, so please, again, be aware of that. But that's practically all the information that you really need to know, pretty much. Um, as we head on to floor three, I'll just quickly again recap it. So there you go, that's buff two. Head back to the lift, call out to your teammates you're heading back for buff, so that they can get it for the ad clearing. Um, three will be on your side. When you're doing, what I will say for an ad runner is when you're doing buff three and buff five, it's pretty quick. So again, if they do miss the buff, you're going to be right back when you're collecting three and five. So if you've missed the buff as an ad clearer, just give it that extra second. Just stand on that plate because it's your final opportunity to get it from that plate. Give it an extra second. You know, just stay on that plate a bit longer. It's not a big deal. You'll get about 20 seconds to kill all those ads anyway with the buff. But yep, head over to the other side. Collect buff four. Uh, head over for the lift there. Um, and again, just keep that rhythm going. Again, what I will say about the lifts, because I haven't mentioned it yet. Again, as I said, they can fling you off the map. They can throw you down to the, you know, uh, the, the floor beneath you or even the floor above you, potentially. If you know how to do running, but you're doing ad clearing and your, uh, your runner has somehow been fucked over by the game, which is likely, just pick up the buff and go. If you know how to do it and you're confident doing it, pick up the buff and go. Again, yes, and then that runner will have to just make his way up as quickly as he can and just move to add clear. So just, you know, swap the rolls out. Again, just to make it go smoother. Um, and if you're an ad clearer and you're kind of on your own, don't worry about it too much. Use your super, get shit down, take cover. Ads will build up a little bit, but, you know, you can kill the red bars pretty easy from distance. Don't worry too much about the yellow bars. The runners are fairly quick. They very rarely get killed by ads. To be honest with you, I've never really seen many runners get killed by ads in these things. But yeah, complete the circuit, kill the last set of ads, and that your rewards will be done. They'll be right there. So as we move on to the gameplay for light side, I'm just going to play some music. I'm not going to talk you through this because it is exactly the same. All that's going to differ really is the spawn points of where the buff will be. Um, so again, go back to the map if you need to, pause it there. Um, if it's going to help you, if you need that as reference, but it is exactly the same thing. So, yep, just before I do go though, if you did enjoy this video and you do find it useful, please leave a like, share it, you know, subscribe to the channel if you like, um, do whatever, but again, head over to my Twitch stream because that is where you're going to get the best help every day, every week, every month. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.